If you're researching solar power and battery storage options for your home, then you know that having automatic load management is one of those key features that allows you to have whole house backup without overloading your renewable energy system. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Generac's new Power Manager, the second generation intelligent load management solution from Generac and what makes it unlike almost any other product on the market. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past nine years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge you're going to find solar product reviews and comparisons, as well as new product launch announcements like the one we're doing today here. Now in today's video we're looking at the Generac Power Manager. And as you can probably tell from the branding, it's designed to work with the Generac PowerCell solar and storage system. Now, when you're looking at a solar and storage system to provide whole house backup, one of the components that you're usually going to need is some sort of a load management system. Uh, and the reason for that is that although even with a high capacity battery like the Generac PowerCell, you are going to be limited to a certain amount of backup power. Uh, both in terms of continuous power and peak power. So if we look at a Generac power cell system, for example, if we use the power cell 18 kilowatt hour battery, so it's one battery cabinet filled with all six battery cells, uh, a system like that is going to be able to sustain a maximum load of 9,000 watts. Now 9,000 watts is a lot of power, but it's not going to be enough to run everything in a modern home running at the same time, especially if you have a home with all electric appliances like electric stove, electric water heater. You're just not going to be able to run everything at one time. And so what intelligent load management allows you to do is essentially prioritize your loads, you know, let's say priority 1 through 12, and so that if power becomes scarce and you're in a blackout situation, the system knows how to prioritize the loads for you. For example, what that means is, let's say you're in a rural area and you have a, a well pump which pumps fresh water into the house. Um, a lot of times that's going to be one of your high priority loads. You, you never want to lose water service in your house. So let's say you're, you've lost power, you're in a blackout situation, and you're in a situation where your air conditioning compressor is already running, um, maybe you want to do a load of laundry and run the electric clothes dryer, but somewhere in the mix there, somebody turns on a faucet and it starts demanding more fresh water from the house. Well, with an intelligent load management system, generally you're going to prioritize your clothes dryer to a lower priority when you're in a, an emergency situation, and the water pump would be on a higher priority. So in this example, the system would automatically power down the clothes dryer circuit, allow the well pump to power up and complete its duty cycle, and then once the demand from the well pump abates, then allow the clothes dryer to power back on. And so that's what we're talking about when we talk about intelligent load management. But with the new power manager, Generac has really stepped it up a level from its previous generation system, which by the way, I think even the previous generation system is one of the best solutions out there. But with the previous generation system, Generac used what's called smart management modules, which are these little gray boxes. Uh, you may see them on homes that have Generac backup generators. And basically what those smart management modules did was similarly, it, it would disconnect or it would shed heavy loads, low priority loads, if you were running on a backup power mode and the system couldn't power everything simultaneously. It would just automatically cut those things out. But one of the challenges with it is you had to have one of these separate SMM boxes for each of your heavy load circuits. And it was only the heavy load circuits, the 240 volt circuits, that were able to be controlled. So basically it could get very bulky and very cumbersome trying to get these SMMs into your existing breaker panel, or in some cases having to pull circuits out, install these separate electrical enclosures, and then have the SMMs attached to that. So it can be very, very cumbersome. Now with the new system, the power manager actually is a separate box that installs underneath your circuit breaker panel that allows you to route up to 12 circuits through for the intelligent load management and load control. The device here is meant to, uh, meant to mount underneath your circuit breaker panel allowing up to 12 circuits to pass through. And unlike the previous generation SMMs, 
the power manager can control both 120 volt loads and 240 volt loads. So although 120 volt loads are generally not considered heavy loads, there are certain 120 volt loads that you may not want to run uh, during a blackout. For example, if you have outlets in your bathroom where you have, um, uh, let's say, hair dryers plugged in, or outlets in your kitchen where you have toaster ovens uh, or things of that sort plugged in, um, appliances that have heavy heating elements, even though it might be just a simple 120 volt wall outlet where it plugs in, that can still be a heavy draw on your battery system and something you might not want to do uh, if you're in a grid down situation and working on conserving the battery for as long as possible. Now, the thing that I'm really excited about with Power Manager, though, is the fact that you can actually do dynamic load control via the PowerView app. So unlike the previous generation where you had to sort of set your, your priority loads at the time of installation, and our, our technician would have to program that into the system, with the new PowerView app and the Power Manager uh, solution, you can actually dynamically, using your smartphone app, reprioritize your critical loads when you're on backup power. So let's say, for example, again, um, you might not think your clothes dryer is a high priority item, but if you end up in a grid down situation for a week and you've got laundry piling up, well, maybe you do need to, to do some laundry, right? So in this case, using the app, you could turn off one of the other high priority items, maybe one of your air conditioning units, that frees up a, an additional power budget that could be used by the clothes dryer so that you can have your laundry done. And then once that's complete, then you switch back and turn the air conditioner back on. So it definitely gives you much more visibility and control as a potential system owner. And I think the nice thing you're gonna like about the app is that even as you change which circuits are connected on backup power and which ones aren't, you get real-time update as far as how much battery running time you have left. So folks, if you're in the process of looking at solar plus battery storage options for your home, um, definitely you want to take a look at systems that offer some sort of a load management capability. Um, if you've already received quotes or if maybe if you need to get a price quote of what a battery backup so solution would look like for your home, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, that way you can set up a virtual meeting with one of our design team members here at Solar Surge. Just kind of talk through what the situation is like and what your needs are for your home and then we'd be happy to provide you a free, no obligation price quote. Uh, also folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the information that we have on Solar Surge, please be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Yeah, I know I'm saying it all the time now, click, click the button, click the button, but you know, it does help and it really is important because there's so many videos out there now that unless you know, YouTube and the other platforms see people interacting with the video or commenting on the video or sharing the video, then it just will you know, move on to something else. Uh, and of course, you know, if, if this is information that will be helpful for you in your process of evaluating solar power options, uh, or even if you're a solar sales professional, uh, just learning about all the different gear and things that are out there, consider subscribing to the channel because we're going to be putting out videos every week that will really just help homeowners and help solar professionals make sense of all the new products and capability that's coming onto the marketplace. Well, folks, I thank you again for taking some time to watch Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.